G'day mates. Today we'll compare two of my favorite CPAPs. Made in Germany by family owned and operated Löwenstein, the Prisma 20A, Darth Vader here. Force is strong with this one. And the Stormtrooper, the Prisma Smart. Now, this machine right here, she's something special. She is the Ferrari of the CPAP world, the duck's nuts, the bee's knees. So if you're someone with a bit of coin and you only want the best, you don't need to watch the rest of this video. Just go and buy yourself a Prisma 20A and you can thank me later because it is unbelievable. However, if you are on more of a budget, the Prisma Smart might be what you're looking for. Now, when it comes to the Prisma range, there's a lot of options. It's very, very confusing. Three options, guys. That's all you need. You've got your top, middle, and bottom. At the top, the Prisma 20A heated tube, cellular modem with Bluetooth, all inclusive. You have people with money who want the best, they will buy this. Then you have your middle and your bottom, the Prisma Smart Max with the cellular and the Bluetooth, that's your middle. And then you have the Prisma Smart Plus with just the Bluetooth, no cellular, that's your bottom. Cut out all the CPAP crap. No one's buying CPAP anymore. You get CPAP mode with the auto, and there you go. Easy for the customers. They understand the machines and the bundles and what's included. Easy for the resellers. They're the ones who have to educate the buyers on all the different options, too hard. And number three, easy for you on your supply chain, your distribution, manufacturing, and so on. So cut the crap and let's get to it. All right, so where are the differences, hey? Let's start with the humidification. Now with the Prisma 20A, the power for the heated tube comes from the actual machine. All right, I'll plug it in right now. You plug it in to the machine. With the Smart, the heated tube has its own power pack that you plug into the wall. So you have a power supply for the CPAP machine plugged into the wall and a power pack for your heated tube plugged into the wall. Two power packs, two power points. It's not the end of the world, don't get me wrong, but just a little bit messy, hey? It's something else you gotta carry when you travel, something else you might potentially lose, something else that might potentially break. When it comes to the humidification levels, the amount of humidification the machine can produce, you got seven levels with this, five with this. So if you're someone who's very dry and you need extra moisture in the air, Prisma 28 is the way to go. Now on top of that, you got the Smart Aqua Control, which enables you to preheat the humidifier before you go to bed. And it also has like leak compensation. So if you've got a lot of mouth leak or mask leak, that will drop the level of humidification. So this machine will compensate for that and add more humidification to the air in those environments, which is very handy as well. So better humidification. Number two, you've got the touchscreen. Now this is a lovely big color touchscreen. It's a physical touchscreen, so you do have to just press in. It's not like a passive, like a smartphone but it's nice, big, the menu system's brilliant. It's easy to check your data on the screen in the morning. This screen over here is not a touch screen. It has some buttons at the bottom here, but just looks a bit old and cheap to me. Yeah, it looks like an old radio from the 60s, an old Atari. Number three, we have the blower, the heart and soul of your CPAP machine. And inside this device, is a Swiss made micro nail blower that is perfection. Whisper quiet, very expensive, but very, very good. Inside the Smart, we've got a German made blower, which is still really good, but not of the same caliber. Now, both these machines have soft pap levels one and two. This is exhalation pressure relief. As you breathe out, the machines drop the pressure to make therapy more comfortable. However, this device also has soft pap level three. And on level three, yes, it drops the pressure as you breathe out, but it also provides a burst of pressure on inhalation. Watch the inhalation. See that, up to 11? down to seven. This is really helpful for those of you with a lot of upper airway resistance. Think flow limitation, UARS. 
rear is. Just another feature to be mindful of. So those are the main differences. However, there's a few more that I'll quickly touch on. When it comes to Bluetooth, with the Smart, the Bluetooth module is internal and comes standard. And you need the Bluetooth module to connect up to the smartphone app. Now with the 20A, you would think it would be the same. However, it's not. In order to get Bluetooth, you need to buy the cellular modem that clicks onto the side. And that also has the Bluetooth module. I find that strange. And last of all, there's a difference in the power requirements for both machines. This one running on 24 volts, this one 37 volts. Now, is that a problem? Well, it used to be, but perhaps not anymore, and I'll explain why. You see, with a 24 volt machine, like the Smart, like your ResMed devices, or a 12 volt machine like your Philips, it's very easy to run them on CPAP batteries. See here, this is an Air Pro Mini running straight 24 volts in powering the unit right now. Turn it on. There we go. But with a 37 volt machine, there's not many batteries that have a 37 volt output, are there? So what I've been using is this Bluetti, which has a 300 watt pure sine wave inverter. It's like plugging into a wall. So it's not the end of the world, but I would much rather use this, small and portable, versus this. However, Good friend of mine, Damo, biomedical engineer extraordinaire who works with these machines, has developed a USB-C power supply. You're in for a treat because this right now is the very first time I've plugged it in. It only arrived today. And <laughs> what does that look like to you? Looks like some sort of pipe bomb. So I'm hoping that this is from Damo and not from ResMed or Philips. And it's not some ingenious way to Blow me up right now. All right, here we go. It's closed. It's working. This here is an Air Pro Copilot. Also works with ResMed, AirSense 11, AirSense 10, Air Mini, Z2, all via USB-C. I'll put some links in the description down below. Very, very good. Quick charge 3.0, two hours to charge. Amazing. All right, let's check. Here we go. You've done it, mate. Well played, sir. Now you'll be happy to know that both these machines are compatible with SleepHQ. We just haven't released it yet. And that's because there's potential to use the Bluetooth connection to stream the data to our brand new SleepHQ iOS app, which would be unbelievable. Anyways, thanks for watching. Until next time, sleep well, look after your mates. I'll see you soon, cheers.